Hi, it's Logan. And one of my goals in 2023 is to create more videos in general. And one of my first YouTube video idea is to create a video about my house. So back in April, 2022, me and my husband, who is currently working, uh, bought this San Francisco condo for $918,000. It's two bedroom, one bath. And let's give you a quick tour about our house. So what you're seeing right now is our living room. So in our living room, we have oddly two couches. It's a long story and a chandelier and some additional lights washing that wall and some pictures. Bar cart and our Lego train uh, since it was just the holidays and our Christmas tree. We're gonna walk down this hallway and directly to our right is our bathroom. So in the bathroom, we did some more renovations, added some lights, and the rest is pretty much standard of what came with the house. Marble tiles, marble floors, and they're kind of hard to keep clean. And they do stain the marble. Okay, continuing on, directly out here is a hall closet for our guests to hang their clothes. And this is also where we put our shoes. So these shoe drawers are from the container store and they're part of the alpha line of uh, storage. To our left are pictures and most of the pictures are from our wedding. And the one I love the most are these two that we're getting ready and with the, for the makeup before our wedding. And directly here is a very nice mirror and some real flowers. And the real flowers are kind of almost dying, but it's not quite time to replace them either. And to the left is the bedroom that we sleep at. This is like a almost $7,000 bed. It adjusts, so the headrest goes up and down, the foot goes up and down. Um, the mattress itself was like $3,000. And we also have the eight sleep uh, tower over here, which helps uh, heat or cool our bed as well. So a lot of technology in this bed. <sighs> Sorry. And in our closet, uh, this is primarily my closet. I don't have too much clothes right now, but I have created my own custom dresser down here where I also have like pants hanging here too. In general, the existing closet rod is very sturdy, so no need to replace that. And we just added additional storage down there. And continuing on to the next room. The next room, is very green. This is considered our guest bedroom and it's just a regular Ikea mom bed and a very similar closet. The closet has a printer and more pants. And we use this room primarily for storage right now, like all those shopping bags and other uh, stuff. And coming out into the living room, we are heading towards the kitchen. Here's the kitchen. The kitchen's pretty wide, uh, but not that fancy. We have just a normal Whirlpool dishwasher, but stainless steel, Whirlpool dish, uh, refrigerator, and Whirlpool oh my, uh, stove. Nothing too special, but I do love the drawers. The drawers are very nice and deep, and you can actually put like pots in here. Um, we have our trash inside the cabinets underneath the sink times two. So both trash and recycling. And we also have our utensils, our uh, cutlery in our drawers as well, organized by ba those bamboo trays. And up here we have a lot of Target plates and bowls because like once you crack one plate or bowl, you can just go to Target and buy one plate and one bowl. So it helps keep uh, pretty plates around our house. And down here to the left of the kitchen is our washer dryer. 
with the powered exhaust, nothing too special. The floor has some trash and over here, we have our dining room. The dining room is our, has a bust down table and our Logan and Patch neon sign, as long as the same chandelier. And to the back is a hot tub and a barbecue grill that you can not really see, but it's shared with all the other HOA owners. We only have six units and each unit has their own parking spot. This is how the patio looks like outside. We have a shared hot tub. A big grill, another Traeger bill, grill, the wood pellet grill, and then we have stairs to go down into the garage. Here's the garage. Here's my parking space. My parking space is between two very narrow columns, which makes parking my car much harder. Uh, we have storage in front, and I have installed a Tesla wall connector charger for my car so I could charge in my own spot. So that's a quick tour of my house. It's only 925 square feet. Actual usable is like 800 square feet, in my opinion. Um, and th that's not, there's not too much else to see. Thanks for watching.